at all this, you guys. We have so much chocolate here. Did you ever think that I would be introducing you to Easter baskets with chocolate? Well, this is not exactly what this is all about. I'm joined by uh, Caroline Susie. She's a registered dietitian nutritionist. Thank you for being here. Good morning. Tell us how much chocolate is okay to have in these Easter baskets. I know, I'm, I'm not going to take all the fun out of this weekend. Thank you. But friendly reminder to the Easter Bunny and to everyone that the American Heart Association recommends 100 calories extra added sugar. Okay. So that's not much. That's about six teaspoons. So it's a little Six bit, a little bit more. Yeah, <laughs> this is a little too big of a bunny. Okay. So we want to talk about ways that we can diversify yes. our Easter baskets yes. and maybe include some other healthier options. So the dietitian me, of course, wants to talk healthy food options. So you have raisins. You can do nuts and seeds. What little child wouldn't be excited about that? Look at that. All these seeds. Ah, yay. We also so can fun. do crafts, too. So stickers, pencils, yeah. other non-food items that are really going to make the basket unique. So this is some of the stuff that um, one of our producers, Melissa, has already started buying her daughter. Uh, you know, look, flip-flops and stickers, a little map, swimsuits, a little bubble gun thing. And I so. love the, the theme baskets that are incorporating exercise. On the end here, we do yeah. have one that's all swim theme. This is my friend. Her little daughter loves to swim. So we have um, goggles, a swimsuit, and then these toys that you throw them in the water and they sink. So they're little dive dive toys. And I think too, th like look, this one, this, ha this is a good idea, right? Because you've got a little bit of goldfish, you've got some other snacks, but it's not just not sugar just all overload. chocolate, right. Looking okay. to add different things to your basket that will not send your child on a complete sugar high. And there's excellent portion control. The fun size candies are great too for kids. Yeah. And then try not to let them plow right through it. Spreading spreading these treats out throughout the week. Just like Halloween. Just like Halloween. Yeah. And I just want to show you guys this one thing too. I think some moms out there will love this. This is for if your kids are going to camp. My mom's friend makes these. It's a little towel, but in the in the inside you get to put like their toothbrushes or whatever else. So, I mean, just be creative. Think think outside the box when it comes to these Easter outside baskets. Outside the basket, right? Think outside the oh. basket. That's why I love her. All right, you guys. Hopefully that I helps. I love those suggestions. Those really gives you some, because, some more ideas there. Yeah, you know, you try and ration them, but they want to eat everything now. And I love when you give them something that plays to their interest. You know, one right. year, the Easter Bunny delivered raisins inside the yeah, eggs. Yeah, that's and, fun. And, and our house. And that didn't go... <laughs> That didn't go That's over very well. Cool. Oh, but a chocolate. <laughs> you want to strike a balance. You don't want the kids to be like, oh, look, a Brussels sprout. Ooh. Yay. Um, a pea. How, how about this from the Great Harvest Bread Company? They have the honey bunny. This is a whole grain loaf of bread. They make this up. They say you can put it in a basket. You can hollow it out too here in the back. Put a dip in here and vegetables and carrots and things. So actually this is a really great gift idea as well. Something for, so, something for the holiday. Right. So you go with the whole grains there and then you fill it with that really fattening spinach dip on the back. Yes. And there. Then. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. So thanks to the Great Harvest Bread Get Company for that. Yeah. Um, I